This is the last touchdown by Ohio State in the Nebraska game. Uh, the second half, we did do a lot of pistol. Showed a couple of jumbo packages as well with the pistol. But we certainly didn't just run the ball. It was more effective. Uh, we came out with a different attitude, and Nebraska was also tiring on defense. But we also went back to the pass after we got the lead with uh, some heavy run packages. Um, we went back to the pass. Now, a lot of fans would have been like, why would he do that when it's working so well? Because there was actually one pistol, one with run, where they completely stymied us. And this is a tiring defense with less talent than us. And they just blitzed, they run blitzed it and said, hey, look, we, this is all you're going to do. Damn, they stopped it. So that's why Urban started passing. You, you know, you've got to keep the variety. You've got to keep the middle open with the, with the spread. So now the passes didn't work because... I think we didn't have the rhythm, and also we weren't passing as much, so there wasn't as much rhythm. But even more than that, Nebraska had some good schemes going on, and it was tough for us, so we didn't get it. But, and I also think we let down a little bit once we got the lead, but that's a whole nother, that's for the coaches to, to work with. But the thing is, um, when this drive, when we needed it, now we're only up, we were up by, what was it, nine, and now we're only up by six. Near the end of the game, we really needed a solid drive. We went back to power spread. And what I mean is we did run a pistol, but, you know, we threw one pistol in there or two, I forget. We threw some passes. We went deep. We actually went deep, for, you know, down the field, which didn't complete, but it, it opened up the field. In fact, Nebraska got their score because they went deep finally. Just one deep pass and opened up the field a little bit. So in this, uh, we're, on the, we're on the move. We just got another first down. We're what, at the, what is it, the 42 or something? The, what, what yard line, the 42? And this is a big run. Now, here's the funny thing. This isn't pro PS. This isn't spread power. This isn't jumbo packages or pistol. This is classic Urban Meyer 101 power spread. You got three wide receivers, one tight end or H back, uh, a running back, a running, a quarterback that can run, and probably better than he has been, but whatever. And but also can pass. We can have an, a read option or an RPO from this or whatever. And you see Nebraska's only got, now they've only got, they were starting to load the box a bit when we were running a lot. Now they're backed out again what they were doing in the first half. They're more spread out. What do you have, like six men in the box, that's it. And uh, we've we got the safety creeping up. So um, six and a half, whatever, you wanna, I don't care if you want to call. But anyway, the bottom line is um, this is nice time because we, we're on a rhythm. We're moving down the field, have a little passes, something deep, some runs. And here we go. And this is just... Again, it's a tiring defense, but a great offensive line surge. Uh, let's just let it roll. I'm going to let it roll slow. So here we go. Just a read option and watch this. There goes Haskins. Right there. And that's Dobbins, by the way, uh, the running back. But anyway, Haskins taken off. These, it pulled these guys. It held these guys out here because it might be a pass. You don't know if it's an RPO. Whether it is or not, you don't know. These guys are held because is he going to run or pass? We don't know. Um, it leaves very little. A tiring defense, a surging offensive line, attitude, a top, top notch running back. Here's what happens. <laughs> now, we can call that just pure power all you want. Fans, coaches can say, that's just talent, or that's just power, that's technique. Well, all that stuff's involved, but it's power spread. It was not a loaded box because of the passing before that. And because of the read option, it was not a loaded box, and it got more unloaded off the read option. And, you know, that it's too much. You, you have a tiring defense, less talent, um, a, a, a team that's being mean right now because they want to finish this game. And I think they let down a bit, so they were bound and determined not to let this happen, which is great. Uh, you know, all those factors. And if you get that box too empty, this is what's going to happen. So, easy touchdown. You know, and, and by the way, the running back's fast. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what his recruit number was, but, you know, top five, almost top one, I, number one recruit in the country, close, whatever, running back, top guy, you know, fast. You put all that together, you just do a little power spread. And, you know, the thing is, Urban's had to innovate a bit because everybody's doing this stuff now. When Urban was doing it back with Bowling Green, it was new, but <laughs> the guy, you know, people before him, like Manny Matsakis and uh, Rich Rodriguez and that, it was really new. But Urban made it like a system. Well, so did the other guys. But anyways, Urban's got famous, uh, along with Art Bryles and Gus Malzahn, 
And back then it wasn't so hard. Now everybody's doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, so he's tweaking it and it's pretty cool.